Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today I will make something from my country which is called potato food or we can call it vegetable stew which is made by potatoes. It's quite simple. So these are the potatoes. We have kind of half two kilos, almost three. We have here some parsnips, some onion and a red pepper. Here we have some mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms and also we have here pork meat which I will cut it slice and will be mix it with the entire stew. So stay with me, thank you for those who are watching, thank you for likes, thank you for subscribe, thank you for comments and thank you for share. Thank you for those who subscribe until now. Thank you for those in advance who will subscribe. We want to reach 5,000 subscribers. We'll go on. So stay with me and I will prepare the potato food. And we will see the reaction of my wife as well when she will come for more. Usually I'm cooking all the time. So she is always coming from work and I am ready with the food dish it on the table. Thank you for watching and stay with me to prepare potato food. From all ingredients I will start cutting the onion which is the first ingredient what I need in my food. So I will start cutting the onion quickly. I will chop in small pieces to be fried and mix all ingredients stay with me and to see what will be I cut all onions and I reach to the last half of onions this is the onion chopped onion and next one will be the red pepper which the red pepper I will cut it quickly in small pieces as well will look like as squares I finished to cut the entire red pepper, so I finish with the, this part as well. This is the red pepper chopped. For the parsnips, I'll use the grater. So I'll grater the parsnips. I almost finish with the parsnip. It's a madness, she will not expect this. I will add some special seasoning. Pepe, I will improve the recipe, adding pepe and few things. We finish with the parsnips. This is the grated parsnips. Looks like cheese. Next thing what we will do will be the mushrooms. I will start cutting the mushrooms as well. Usually she doesn't eat too much mushrooms, but when I'm cook, she's eating with so much taste. She will eat for sure. I almost finished the chestnut mushrooms. When you love her, you will need to love her food or his food as well, what he's doing. So you need kind of to relabel on his food. On, on her food and to make somehow as you love her or him to love his food or her food as well so you need to be combined not just in love in the food and other things as well you both need to be have a connection in all all ways going back to our cooking these are the chestnut mushrooms. About the potatoes, for these potatoes I will just cut them in like three slices on a long and after I make them squares. That's it. We no need necessarily to be proper square. The thing is to be almost squares. But if you can cut it as squares or we have a machinery at home 
to make the potato squares it's perfect and we reach to the last potato these are our potatoes this is our meat we'll start cutting the meat the meat we will cut in squares and we will repeat the same move until we cut the entire slices from the big piece and that will be our meat for the potato food so stay with me for to see how it be at the final the entire food thank you for watching thank you for staying with me thank you for everything this is our meat ready for fry this is the pot so it's a big pot for me to have space to mix proper the entire potatoes the peppers the parsnip the everything after I add the oil and it started to be warm I will add the onion we will wait for the onion to get to be a little bit fried crispy after our onion get fried little bit and crouchy meat now the meat will combine will get combined with the with the flavors from onion I will add like black pepper curry powder hot curry powder also I will add some paprika sweet paprika I will add some ground ginger as well now I will add some vegeta now I will mix after adding all those things oops I forgot to add something some pepper for my spicy woman I hope I will succeed to it I'm not sure I add a little bit much but I think I will manage after adding the pepper I will start mix again spice out the things I will add some red wine in the meat mm, it's extraordinary the smell oh. my wife will go crazy after she will take one spoon from my food after I boil the, the meat in, with all the flavors I will add the mushrooms I will add the peppers add the parsnips it's a craziest here who want to have home to try the food I recommend try the food to see the mixture and the quality of the food we are waiting to fry the entire mix after we will add the potatoes we will mix again we will add the water and that's it so thank you for staying with me thank you for watching thank you for everything our mix we fried proper and they they get combined uh, and get the perfect texture I will add the potatoes I will mix again everything my wife will come again and will say I did food for the entire city that's it now we'll wait for the food to boil to get ready and stay with me to see the food finished thank you our food reached the end so now we are twisting after one hour and 20 minutes of boiling being a lot of food here being a big pot 
Now we'll add some chopped tomatoes, some tomato pasta. Now we will mix everything. We'll add some parsley as well. We'll add some dill as well. We'll mix everything. Look at the texture. Look how delicious it is. I hope she will love it. Usually she loves the dry food. Like it's dry but not that dry. We'll let to boil another five minutes and we reach to the end. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for like, subscribe, share. And we are waiting for my wife to reach from the from work to see her reaction, to see how she will taste and enjoy my food as usual. That's it. We are waiting for my wife. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I want to check where he cooked. So as I promised, she did reach home. Wow, and it's nice. We will. Is it beans? No. It's potato. Yes. Ah. <laughs> wow, looks nice. It looks really nice, guys. Um, one of my goal is I'm trying as much as I can to stop eating in the night. I get home very late at night and because I finish walking in the e in the night like 10 p.m. at night sometimes and by the time I get home it's already nearly 11 p.m. so I'm trying not to be eating because when I eat at that 11 p.m. I'll just have my complete my nighttime routine like have my shower and go to sleep so the food any food i eat at that time doesn't digest it goes straight into fat so i'm trying to avoid eating at night so i'm not going to <laughs> eat this food so the first thing i did when i got home i went quickly to the bathroom and i brushed my teeth because i know once i brush my teeth i won't eat anymore so i don't want to be tempted it looks really delicious and i would have been tempted to test it but I'm not, no, I'm not testing it. Wow, this looks nice. Careful. <laughs> careful I'll be careful. Pot. So this has um, um, beef. Yeah? No, this one has pork. Okay, so it has, it has pork, it has potatoes, it has what else? Red pepper. Red pepper. Uh, I can see some bacon. Mushrooms. Here. Wow, this looks, this looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like porridge yam. You know, if you are African, I don't know. Some if it's parsley good. and porridge yam. Uh, so it looks really like porridge yam, and this is very tempting. So I don't want to be tempted, so I quickly went to brush my teeth first because I don't want to. But I will take them to work tomorrow, and I will definitely enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for being for cooking. with us. Uh, I succeed to surprise her today just with the viewing so remain with the taste for tomorrow so see you in our in next, our next video. video yeah bye, bye.